regard to, to the, to, to, to the, the ways to reduce armed conflict, I think on one hand, we of course uh, strongly believe that we need political solutions to armed conflict. This is not something that the ICC or the Red Cross can do, but, but states should indeed take the political actions to try to find political solutions to conflict that would greatly reduce the suffering. We also believe that the respect of essential rules during armed conflict, and I'm talking really about essential rules, you don't kill civilians, you don't bombard hospitals, you don't rape women, you don't torture prisoners, the essential rules of armed conflict that protect the ones who do not participate or or no longer participated, like the wounded soldiers or the soldiers taken prisoner. We strongly believe that if you respect these rules, not only we reduce the human suffering and we keep a life of humanity during war, but it will be easier to find back to peace and stability. I, I think artificial intelligence is clearly a major technology that will disrupt almost all spheres of life. So it's an absolute game changer and I think we, we aren't even apprehending yet quite as transformative. It will be now each potent technology can be used for the good and it can be used for the bad. And I think one concern that we have on, on, on the use of artificial intelligence is indeed if it is used for automated weapon systems. So we believe and we see that that there is an increasing integration of artificial intelligence and weapon systems. It's bad enough to keep get killed in war. It has to be a human decision. And we need for a binding treaty to regulate the use of artificial intelligence and weapon systems. So that's part also of the way we think about artificial intelligence. It's being said, artificial intelligence is also very potent to bring solutions if well used. And I think uh, 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 can can be incredibly useful also for the actors.